Hey everybody, I'm the Ranting Monkey, and today we're going to talk about a few things, but only one in this video. If all goes well, you'll get another video from me later today, and I'll have one scheduled for release tomorrow. I decided to make a separate video for this subject because you guys are too fucking nice. When I've discussed issues with my neck in the past, it's always been as a way to explain why you're not seeing content from me. I try to sneak it in quickly at the end of the video so it doesn't become the focus, but you bastards with your feelings have to express your caring and concern. And I love you for it. But it does end up dominating the comments sections of whatever video it's in. To avoid that, we're just going to do it here. We'll start with a quick recap for anybody who's missed it. For the last year, pretty much everything below my neck hurts like hell. I had surgery in October to repair a disc in my neck that was so swollen it bruised my spinal cord, but it didn't stop the pain and the pain has actually gotten worse. I had an MRI earlier this month and saw a neurologist yesterday to get the results. Let's start with the bad news. The only really bad news is I still don't have an answer. The MRI showed my spinal cord is still bruised, but it has improved since the last pre-op MRI. I'll have another more comprehensive MRI next month to check for continued improvement and other possible causes of the pain. The doctor said the increased pain could just be my nerves waking up after being compressed for so long. Or I could have MS or a tumor or a host of other things I'd really rather not think about. We simply won't know without more time and more testing. Moving on to the good news, my neurologist upped my dosage of the nerve blocking medication. Several months ago the surgeon put me on Neurontin, and it's been the most effective medication I've taken but it barely made the pain tolerable. With my weird sleep schedule I haven't always been able to take it on time and when it wears off it's just hell. Well it turns out the surgeon had me on a very low dosage, barely above what you would give a child. She increased my dosage by 500%. I took one such dose after my appointment and slept the best I have in a month. And while I'm still in pain, I can walk to the bathroom without having to stop on the way to rest. The drawback is that the higher dosage seems to make me very sleepy. The doctor wants to get me back to a normal sleep pattern, so I have to fight this urge to nap until around 8 p.m. tonight. It's going to be a really long day, but if the pain stays at this level, I won't mind. So that's it. Still no real answer, more tests, more waiting, but the pain is better so far and I can live with that. To the haters out there, yes, I'm monetizing this video. Pills, doctors, and tests are expensive. You can bite me. To the rest of you, thank you so much for the kind words and encouragement through all of this. I really do have the best viewers on YouTube. You guys, gals, and other kin are amazing. Okay, I'm going to go work on something more interesting. Thank you for watching. I'm the Ranting Monkey, and I will see you next time. Your life makes me sad.